Good morning, everyone. It's Adam. We're in uh, Exeter, Rhode Island. I'm excited. What's up, Beamer? I'm excited to say that I'm actually heading to Twisted Throttle in 1.5 miles. Um, my experience with Twisted Throttle so far, I've probably made three orders with them in the last three years. I was going to buy the Denali system, and I asked, can I come by and record the installation? They said no. So that didn't happen. I bought from Clearwater instead. Um, so I, I like recording videos of the experts doing the job because I, I can't compare to these guys. And luckily, Nate at Denali Electronics, aka I guess they're a part of the throttle, has welcomed me in today to get my horn fixed. And you guys, I'll put some overlay here. You guys remember my horn disaster at uh, the Horizons Unlimited Ontario meetup where normal off-roading, but uh, the, 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 the horn sacrificed itself on my uh, dust seal on my right fork and so you know four hundred dollars to bmw and 150 dollar horn destroyed and uh, so i've got it in my in my bag back here and we're going to basically just hit up twisted throttle they said get there at 10 it's 9 58 and we will um replace your horn we have a redesigned mounting bracket for you we also have a new cool thing that's going to basically uh, keep the brake line from rubbing against the bottom of the horn should be pretty cool And I'll get the horn installed by the people that actually like Nate actually designed and built this thing not by hand But like he developed it. So I'm really really excited. So um, yeah, it's with the throttle. So let's uh Let's go Nice location It's cool to see a couple of uh, of German Modified cars here. It's always nice to see. Well, I actually ended up uh, muting all this out because we were just talking shop. But um, they got up on the lift pretty much immediately. So these two guys, so one of the dudes actually engineers all the mount brackets for all the various kind of bikes, uh, forks, crash bars, that kind of stuff. And the other guy <clears throat> does a lot of the engineering of the electroelectronics. So these were the two people that basically knew everything about the Denali sound bomb and how it works on the GS. So that was pretty cool. Um, they installed it really fast. Like they, the installation itself was like 10 minutes, even though we were kind of in and out. Their biggest concern was the size of the uh, Touratech uh, reservoir pushing the horn forward. And it doesn't look like that is causing that much of an interference issue. Like I think you could, I think you're good. So the actual bracket. Uh, that hooks into the upper triple tree bit there. Uh, the frame is Loctited in uh, with, you know, they call it, I, I, some people call it permanent. It's really high strength thread locker. Nothing's permanent. Um, and then the, the Donnelly sound bomb itself is mounted up with a locking nut. So basically the instruction to them was just ride normally and every day just kind of give it a look. And then once you've put the bike through its test then uh, you'll know if it's going to stay still or not for good and of course you know let them know if it moves and they'll figure something else out but um, one other thing they added which I'll, you'll see later in the clips is they did add a little rubber piece that goes over the brake line that um, keeps the brake line from rubbing against the sound bomb some people had some concerns that eventually the, the, the brake line would rub through it's not really something that I had a concern about, but some people did. So they, they made that little piece there that anyone that has bought a sound bomb could order if they want. Um, awesome warehouse. Everyone was super cool. I'm going to now um, cut over to my like after video. And uh, here you go. This is just a very, very quick um, just leaving twist the throttle. Quick update. I just wanted to talk about the process. First, um, the guys were great, super accommodating. They <laughs> didn't rush me out the door. I'm always one of the kind of people that just ask way too many questions. And so uh, I appreciate them um, remaining patient with me. Uh, and it wasn't for nothing. I ended up buying some uh, stuff from them, which I'll talk about in a later video. So that was cool. <laughs> it's like, I think, I was like, hey, I'm gonna buy this in the next couple of days. You don't happen to have any that are like scratched. <laughs> like off a demo bike and they're like yeah we actually do and they uh gave me a 25 percent discount which was nice and then the paper shipping which is also nice um so that was all good but um you know the process was great uh you know very very professional 
Um, you know, I, I would I would say they fixed my issue. You can look down right there. Almost, you see it? It's down there. Um, the, the actual install itself took like 10 minutes because the wiring was already done. Um, but one of their concerns was that um, my aftermarket uh, Touratech shock, again, it always comes back to like, the problem I have is I've got a lot of shit on my bike. And the issue that continues to creep up is that the more shit you have, the more problems you're gonna have. So with my situation, I have a very large uh, Touratech uh, reservoir, tractive reservoir on the front of the bike. And it's about, um, I'll show you pictures if I remember to put them here. It's about 30 or 40% larger than the OEM reservoir. And again, they're testing this with almost every GS and almost every GS does not have an aftermarket shock uh, reservoir that's huge. So, and, and there's not much overlap between really hardcore dirt riders that are putting $1,800 shocks in their bike on the front of their bike and riders who are also buying Denali sound bombs. That's not a lot of overlap there, in my opinion. That's not something they said. So it was it was like a, the, the problem is the, the horn should be sitting like this and it was actually bowed out a little bit. And when it was bowed out, um, it wasn't able to clear anything that easily. Now, once they actually got it installed, they said, you know, actually, it's not as bad as we thought, but it certainly can't sit back as far back as it wants to. So they said, just, you're going off road tomorrow, well, it's not Sunday. Going off road Sunday, um, doing some trail riding. Um, just keep an eye on it, they said. Uh, if it looks like it's moved, get your toolkit out, tighten it up more. They put a, 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 a locking nut on it and a fixing thread locker. Thread locker on the bracket, locking nut on the horn. I mean, they make this. Uh, and that's one thing I didn't know. The, the, the two guys I actually met with, they actually are the product designers that you know work in Rhode Island and like they get bikes in, they scan them, they make all the brackets uh, design, the brackets and the lights and everything. And they design a lot of the electronics. They do a ton of work here. Uh, and then the assembly happens, I think in, is at South Korea where like most of the LEDs in the world are made, but like, the actual like a lot of the work they have a whole cnc system uh, uh plotters drill presses all kinds of shit back there so they're, they're actually doing a lot of the stuff here so that was pretty cool you know it's a it's, it's a very similar story to clearwater in that regards that you've got american employees uh involved in 80 percent of the process basically to getting the, the lights to market um so anyway back to what i was saying you know they they, they installed it they think we're good we're going to test it you know I'm, I'm taking it off road sunday um if it gets stuck again that's no problem I'll go to them, we'll talk about it. And, and I told him, you know, up front, if this is an issue with something else on my bike, be it the Clearwater setup, the Touratech shock, the Touratech um, uh, steering stopper, the, 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 the Hyper Pro uh, steering damper, uh, Roger the Alien, if it's any of those issues, that's fine. We'll cut our losses and I'll go to a, a BMW 5 Series horn, which is what I had before. Uh, but I want to make it work. So, um, Thanks, Nate, for, for, for opening your doors to me today and uh, letting me in and uh, talking to me. And thanks, everyone, for selling me uh, a scratch and dent set of hardware I really needed for another project. And um, yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go now. I'm actually going to Providence for, for lunch. Uh, maybe I'll do some more clips. Look at that. Look at that. We got dudes dropping out of the sky here. Yeah, look at it. Look at it. But uh, Denali, uh, Twisted Throttle, uh, Dry Spec, all that stuff, it's all under one roof. And uh, there's a few dozen employees that work with Twisted Throttle. So they're just, you know, a really small company. Um, and so it kind of, ooh, that was a blue rabbit. Uh, so it has, a, like a, for me, a renewed appreciation of what they're doing. And I mean, if, if you're in New England, uh, Twisted Throttle should kind of be the first place you go to buy things because they're going to get it to you overnight, basically. Um, they also told me they have a distribution warehouse in, in Reno, Nevada as well for the West Coast people because there's so much ADV uh, purchasing going on um, in the West Coast. All right, so I'm closing this out for now. I'll put some fair ammo clips in here somewhere, I guess, but uh, they took care of me. Does it work? Oh yeah, it works. Sorry, everyone. Sorry. Because uh, <laughs> when I do that, the strobe happens. And I think I'm gonna do some more stuff with Denali. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna pay for the stuff, but I was so impressed by their their hardware in person that um, I think there's some more stuff I can buy from them. So I'll, uh, I'll, I'll that'll be a, that'll be a, another video probably over the winter time. So just stay tuned for that. All right, everyone, ride safe and uh, and and be careful out there. Make sure your horn works.
And I can't, I, now I can finally get inspected. I couldn't even get inspected by the state because my horn doesn't work. No, it does. 